Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to compare the different DSA sheets available and then tell you which DSA sheet is the best for you. So I have Love Verbus DSA sheets, Triverse SD sheet, Apna College DSA sheet and Lead Coding DSA sheets which are four of the most popular DSA sheets available. So I'm going to compare them one by one and I'm going to compare them over different factors and then I'm going to tell you which one is the best for you if you are a complete beginner, which one is the best for you if you have somewhat problem solving skills and which one is the best for you if you have a little bit of DSA knowledge. So I have already made videos on each one of them. So I'm not going to go into details. You can check them out. I'll give the links in the description. Also within the next few days, I'm going to make a video about the best way to learn DSA. So a lot of people are confused about how to learn DSA because there's so many resources, there's so many DSA sheets and there's little to no idea about how to prepare. So I'm going to make a video in which I'm going to tell you the best way to learn DSA in just three simple steps. And that video will have everything about DSA, how to learn complete DSA for your placements and in order to get placed at your dream company. So do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that video and let's get started. So like I said, I have Love Bubba's DSA sheet, which has like 450 questions. I'll give a link to that in the description. Then we have Strivers, like we have Strivers SD sheet. Then we have Apna College DSA sheet and we have Lead Coding DSA sheet. I also have Ursh Goel's DSA sheet, but I'm not going to keep it separate. So Lead Coding and Ursh Goel DSA sheets are pretty similar. So I'm going to combine them in one. So whatever I say for Lead Coding also applies to Ursh Goel because they are pretty similar. So let's go over them one by one. So the first factor I have is the variety of questions. So which one has the most variety of questions? So obviously Love Bubber, as you know, has 450 questions. Striver has 180 questions, Apna College has 375 questions and Lead Coding also has around 280 questions, if I'm not wrong. So obviously Love Verba has the most variety of questions. His questions are like I said in my video of Love Verba's DSA sheet review also that he has a variety of questions. He has tons of questions. He has lots of questions. And then again, Apna College also has a lot of questions. They have a wide selection of questions. And then Striver has the least amount of questions and he has like lesser variety. So this goes to Love Verba. Love Verba has the highest variety of questions in the sheet while Striver has the least variety. So if you look at Striver's sheet, then certain important topics don't have a lot of questions like dynamic programming or binary search trees. Some topics which are very important don't have that much questions. So Striver has lesser number of questions than, Apna Col than Lead Coding, then Apna College and Love Verba has the most variety of questions. Then we come to which one is beginner friendly. So suppose you have never solved a DSA problem in your life, then which one you should take? So to put it simply, none of them are beginner friendly, but still I would say Love Bubber is the one which has the most beginner friendly DSA sheet. Okay. If you are a beginner, I would not recommend you to, so to start solving with DSA sheets. But if you do want to follow DSA sheet and if you're a beginner, then I would say Love Bubber's DSA sheet is the most beginner friendly. Then Apna College, then Lead Coding, then again Striver is the last. So Love Bubber's DSA sheet is the best for beginner friendly, then Apna College, then lead coding and then striver is the last then marking so when you go to these sheets you know you'll see some markings right so you'll see some markings like you'll have markings here that this is easy status the company wise etc so or uh, like if you go to love Bubba's dsa sheet then he doesn't have any marking you know it, it only has the question and whether you solve the question or not it doesn't have the difficulty of the problem it doesn't have the company in which the problem appeared in and likewise in the DSA sheet by Apna College, they have the difficulty mark, they have the company mark, and they even tell you how much time you should give to the problem. So the best marked sheet or the best organized sheet, I would say is Apna College. So Apna College has the best mark sheet. Their sheet has not only the difficulty of the problem, they also have the time you should give a problem. They also have which company the problem appeared in. So Apna College has the best sheet in terms of marking, in terms of how things are organized. And then next is, next is I would say like lead coding and striver and then last love verber because love verber doesn't have any marking. He just has the problem according to section. So love verber is the last in this factor. Next up we have the quality of problem. So there is one thing, right? The more problems you select, the more questions you select for your sheet, the lesser will be the quality of problems. So love verber has 450 questions and because of that, the quality of the questions he has taken is not that good. While Striver only has 180 questions and that's one great thing about a sheet that he has taken selective questions. He has taken only the questions which have the best quality. 
So Strivers questions have the best quality, I would say. Love Baba has a lot of questions, but a lot of those questions don't really have any quality. A lot of those questions are not that important. But all of the questions in Striver sheet are very much important. Then after that, we'll have lead coding and then Apna College and Love Verbers would be the last in terms of quality of problems. And that is obvious because he has selected a lot of problems. So there's bound to be a few like non-important or few not that good problems in the sheet. Now, next and probably the most important is whether the sheet is enough for placement or not. So Love Verbers sheet, I would say it's around 80% enough for placements. Apna College sheet is around, I would say again, uh, let's say 80% and lead coding sheet is around 70% enough for placement. Coming to the problem solving or DSA aspect of it. So Love Bubble is around 80% enough. Apna College is also around 80% enough and lead coding or Arsh Goyal would be around 70% enough. Why is that? Why are they not 100% enough? Because I've said this before that problem solving does not comprise only of DSA. So in problem solving, when you go to interviews, there are two types of problems. One is DSA based problems. So in complete problem solving, one is DSA based problem, which require DSA to solve. Other one is non DSA problem, which I like to call CP based problem. So these problems don't require any DSA, but they require things like mathematics, pattern searching, intuition based problems, and those kind of problems. They do not require any DSA, but they require analytical thinking. And those problems come a lot on competitive programming platforms. To do those problems, I would highly suggest you go on CodeForces or CodeShift and try to solve beginner level problems there. So CodeForces try to solve till div 2 A, B, C and CodeShift try to solve beginner, easy and easy medium. And this along with, the, along with solving the sheet will make sure that you complete 100%. Now, Striver is the only one with 100% complete problem solving aspect. How is that? LoveWeber has more questions than him. Apna College and Lead Coding has more questions than him. Then how come Striver is the one which has complete problem solving, 100% enough for placements? And the reason for that is Striver has two sheets. So Striver has SD sheet and he also has a CP sheet. So that covers both. It also covers DSA and it also covers non-DSA. Okay, so DSA, he doesn't have a lot of problems. He only has 180 questions, but he also has a CP sheet, which is again great for solving CP based problem. And those kind of problems generally are asked in online coding round. So now coming to the most important thing, which one you should take if you're a complete beginner. So if you're a complete beginner, then I highly suggest to you, first, obviously you should learn what DSA is, and then you can start with Love Baba sheet, or you can start with Apna College sheet. So these are the two sheets, which I'm going to highly suggest to you if you're a beginner. Okay, if you have somewhat problem solving skills, if you have a little bit of problem solving skills, then what I'm going to suggest to you is go with lead coding. Because lead coding doesn't have that much problems, but he still has a great variety of problems. He still has great high quality problems. And if you have some DSA skills, if you already know some DSA, if you're already good with a little bit of problem solving with DSA, then the best sheet for you is Striver sheet. So Striver sheet is best for, like I would say revision. If you already know DSA, if you already know a little bit of problem solving and you want to revise everything within a month, then Striver sheet is the best for you. But if you're a beginner, then I'm not going to suggest Striver sheet to you. To be honest, if you're a beginner, I would not suggest any of these sheet to you because beginners shouldn't jump into DSA sheets. But if you do want a DSA sheet and if you're a beginner, then the best suggestion for you is either Love Bubble or Apna College. And if you have a little bit of problem solving skills, then you can go with lead coding. And if you have DSA skills, you already know what DSA is, you have already solved some DSA problems on Geeks for Geeks or on Lead Code, then you can take Strivers SD sheet. Okay, so that's how I feel the DSA sheets are and how you can use them. Which DSA sheet is the best for you? You can take that according to yourself. And if you if you still have any doubts, you can ask me in the comments, you can tell your situation and you can ask me which DSA sheet is the best for you and I'm going to reply to you as soon as possible. But according to me, this is my overview of the four best DSA sheets. According to you, you can decide which one you should take. And the more, and the one thing which I really want to put emphasis on is that complete problem solving for placements is not simply DSA. It also has non-DSA, CP based problems, which are asked a lot in online coding rounds. And these kind of problems are asked a lot in code forces, code shift, basically computer programming platforms. So make sure that you practice everything. And if you 
If you're taking Strivers sheet, then obviously you can take Strivers SD sheet and also take Strivers CP sheet. That will be more than enough for your placements. But only take Strivers SD sheet if you have some DSA skills, if you have already solved some basic DSA problems. Okay. So like I said, that's it guys. I hope you got some insight of the DSA sheets from the video. And like I said, if you have any specific doubt, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.